Welcome to the 1022 Companion. A question came up last night about removing and replacing the extractor, so I thought I'd do a quick video to show how. We're going to do it from the start. Here all we've done is remove the action from the stock. <clears throat> We're going to rack the bolt to cock the hammer. That takes pressure from the hammer off of the bolt so that you can remove the trigger group easily. We're going to pop out the cross pins and the bolt buffer. It's a little sticky, but it'll go. And the trigger group comes right out. Notice that the ejector sometimes comes out of its slot, but you can put it back in easily. The hammer was cocked back so that it doesn't push against the hammer against the bolt while we're taking things apart. Now to remove the bolt, we're going to pull it all the way back past where the bolt stop would have stopped it, lift up the front, push down with our other finger on the guide rod, and let the bolt handle go forward. This removes the bolt handle from the bolt, so when I turn it over, the bolt easily drops out, and the guide rod comes out the ejection port. We'll set those aside. Here's our bolt. This is what we want to work on. There's the extractor. There's the extractor plunger, and behind it is the spring. To remove the extractor, we need to take something, in this case I'm going to use a 1 16th inch punch, a well used one as you can tell by the bend in it, um, and I'm going to put it between the extractor and the plunger and pull back on the plunger. Notice that I'm going to put my right hand fingers very closely in front of the extractor because that spring's pretty strong and it has a tendency to want to launch itself into orbit if you don't keep it close. So back goes the plunger. Past that round hole that the extractor fits into, and then this goes easier if you do it with pliers. Once you get the extractor out of its slot, which it is not yet, let's try it again. I'm going to pull back on the plunger. I'm going to lift the extractor sideways up and out. And there it is. Now I'm going to put my right hand fingers closely over the front of the bolt while I release that plunger so it doesn't launch itself. There's your plunger. There's your extractor spring. A lot of people want to buy upgraded extractors and it's a good idea because the OEM one is made of a piece of stamped steel that's fairly soft and that point, which is supposed to catch and hold on to the case rim, can get dull with use. And when it gets dull, you're going to have a lot of failures to extract or you're going to get a lot of stovepipes because the real function of the extractor is twofold. Either to pull out an unfired case from the chamber or to hold the case against the bolt face while the bolt comes back. And that allows the... Um, the case to properly hit the ejector, either the ejector that's built into the magazine or the one that's built into the trigger group. So you want to put in your new extractor, what do you do? Well, you put your spring and your plunger together, put them in the channel, let's push them in all the way. And then you can take the extractor and hold the tip of it between your thumb and forefinger. And here you need to be careful. You want to put your left thumb over the channel and you want to hold the extractor very carefully so it doesn't fly away. Push everything straight back with your thumb over the channel. Here I'm using my index finger to push the extractor back and if it goes in right you'll hear it and feel it snap into place into that circular hole. And you see that time it didn't snap into place so I'm going to do it again, and this time to make sure, once again, keeping my thumb and finger over the extractor so it doesn't fly away, I'm going to take my little punch, I'm going to push in sideways on that extractor. Did you hear that? The extractor snapped into place, and the extractor plunger moved forward to properly capture the outside edge of that extractor so it is now fully installed. To test it, I can take the extractor and push it to the outside, snap it back and forth. If it, I should be doing this with my finger over that, because if it weren't in place, 
it would fly away. In this case it is in place so it's working properly and it's properly captured by the plunger. The extractor job is done. I'll leave it to you to button up the rest of the rifle. Hope this was helpful.